What's going on guys, Sean here back with another video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to record a YouTube hair tutorial. All right guys, so like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how to record a tutorial, at least how I do it. But before we get into the video, I wanna tell you guys a couple key things about doing tutorials. First off, if you guys wanna know the equipment that I use, I have a whole video on that. So click the card up above and you guys can check out all of my equipment, my camera, my phone, all of my tripods, all of that stuff, if you guys are interested. A couple things to touch on before we get into it. Guys, it's very important. Before you start your tutorial, there's a couple things to check. Obviously, you wanna make sure you have a full battery in your camera. Some of the haircuts I do, depending on what it is, might take me closer to an hour to record. And sometimes you have about a half a battery left, you're not gonna get through the tutorial. So for one, I bought two batteries that way. Even if I do run out of battery, I have a backup. I usually try to throw in the fully charged battery before I start recording. If you guys watch my equipment video, I do have a power adapter I can plug into my camera as well, but I kind of stopped using that. I've been using a battery again since I have it mounted on my mirror. Secondly, guys, you wanna make sure that your memory card has plenty of space. At the top of my screen, at least on my camera, it will tell me how many minutes I have left to record. So when I start to run out of space, say there's 17 minutes left of footage that I can record, it will say that at the top, and that'll let me know that my memory card is too full. So basically, guys, when I record, I bring it home, I throw it on my computer, that way my memory card is always empty. I could probably fit about three tutorials on a memory card, but just in case I wanna knock a couple out in the same day, I make sure I empty it after every time. So if you guys have plenty of room on your memory card, get your battery situation squared away, then we can jump into how to actually record the tutorial. All right guys, so we have Jackson in the chair. We have the camera mounted on the mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. One thing we wanna start with guys, I do the 360 spin where we show the whole head. So I wanna make sure he is facing the camera. That is gonna make sure that when he's facing forward, he is in the middle of the camera. Go ahead and make sure I have it zoomed in enough. Not too much, I don't wanna spin it and take him off the corner or off the edge of the camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and pump the chair up a little bit so that he is centered, so that when I spin it, the back of his neck is not off the bottom of the camera. Now I realized I wasn't in my video settings, so I'm gonna to go to video, choose manual. That's gonna allow me to change the ISO and some of those settings. And guys, I'm not gonna get into that. I don't know a whole lot, but basically it's gonna change some of the brightness. Now it is on autofocus, guys. You can see the box on his head. That's gonna keep it focused on his head as we spin the chair and get our initial 360. We'll talk about manual focus versus autofocus here in a second. Now that we have the spin done, we wanna go ahead and get ready to do the shear work. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. I want the bottom of his chin at the bottom of the screen. I wanna be able to see the top of his head so you can see the shear work. So we're gonna get the camera situated. I apologize guys, I'm obviously using one hand. Now I'm gonna click my screen to focus on his hair. And there's a switch on the side of the lens that's gonna lock the focus in. And you can see when I put my hand in front of it, it stays focused on the spot that we set. All right, so we're done with the top. I'm gonna go ahead and spin him in a comfortable position for myself so I can cut it where I'm not blocking the screen. Go ahead and pump him up high enough so I can comfortably cut that side. We're gonna go ahead and click off the manual focus so it's on autofocus again. You guys see it's trying to grab his face. And again, we will touch the side of his head. That's gonna be the focus point. We'll go ahead and lock it back. And that's very important, guys. Some of the pet peeves I have, and I think people that do tutorials well, use the manual focus and don't allow that camera to come in and out of focus. So you guys want to lock that I'm going to show you guys real quick how to do it on the iPhone as well you guys do have an iPhone everything's pretty much gonna be the same I got JT sitting here to show you um, basically you want to zoom in with the phone just like the camera just about as tight as you want to go and you guys can see the lighting changing on the phone so what I want to do is hold my thumb on the area I want it to focus on you see it's gonna be locked and if the brightness isn't right, I can swipe up and down until I get it where I want and then hit record. And now guys, you wanna put it on, do not disturb because if your phone does ring, it will stop it from recording. But other than that, you wanna operate just like I showed you on the camera, do one side at a time, lock it like this. If I spin the chair, I'll pull it again, lock it on that side of the head and then you can record that side.
All right, so we're finished with one side of the head. We're gonna go ahead and turn him around. And again, guys, position yourself so you're not blocking the camera. Make sure his head is in a spot where you can cut it comfortably. And we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna go back to autofocus. You're gonna see it's gonna grab. We're gonna have to move the screen a little bit. Make sure he's centered. Lock it on the side of the head. Hit manual focus again, and we'll knock out the second side. Now I noticed before I started cutting that I was already 16 minutes into a 30 minute clip and guys, most cameras will only do 30 minutes. So I went ahead and stopped the recording and started it up again so I had plenty of time to knock out this side. I knew I was gonna do a design and I knew it was gonna take a little bit so I wanted to have that full 30 minutes. If you guys ever see me mess up and not have part of a recording, it's because I didn't reset the camera time and I ran out of time. So I'm not sure what the iPhone time is guys. It has been a while since I used my iPhone for a tutorial but I know it does at least 30 minutes if not an hour. And guys, I want you to understand the importance of taking a second to set the focus. If you guys are interested in doing YouTube, you want your content to be as good as possible. And when it's jumping in and out of focus, it's just messing with the person watching it. Honestly, I'm gonna click out, I'm gonna move on to something else. So it's very important you guys do that. I hope you can see by this video that it's really quick and easy to go ahead and change it. And if you guys pay attention right now, I am turning the chair without changing the focus and losing a little bit of focus here at the end. All right guys, so one last time, we'll go back to autofocus. We're gonna do one more 360 spin, so we're gonna make sure he's centered and that we're zoomed in enough, but not too much. We'll hit that 360, guys. You see it will stay focused the whole time. And uh, I had the phone in my hand trying to record the camera at the same time, that's why he's so wobbly. But I hope all that made sense with the focus, guys. It's just very important. If you get home and the whole side of the head is out of focus, you're gonna not really wanna use that tutorial. So take the time to do it right, it's super easy. Hope you guys like that finished cut. I'm gonna drop that tutorial after we edit it. All right guys, so that's my video on recording haircut tutorials. I hope it was helpful for you guys. This is a three part series. So next time I will be showing you guys how I do my editing process. I'm gonna break it down to the very basic way you can do it, but I'm also gonna show you guys my full process with all the overlays, how to do the voiceover and all of that. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna try to drop it next week, but I'm also waiting for the low pros to come in from Babelist. So if they come in, I may throw that unboxing in in between. So but make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the bell notifications if that's a video you're looking forward to seeing and it will let you know as soon as it drops. If you guys like this video and took something away, smash that thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you are interested in doing haircut tutorials. And if there's something you're waiting for, just go ahead and record something and put some content out. That's my number one tip for people that want to get into YouTube. Just put some content out and improve every time. But anyway guys, I'll see you next time when I show you how to edit this video. We'll go ahead and edit this whole haircut video and then I'll go ahead and drop it as a tutorial as well. So you guys will be able to see the whole process. I appreciate all you guys watching this video and I'll catch you guys next time.